So welcome to Stockholm, Mr. Thank Richie. You, <laughs> Great springtime weather you have here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're doing two concerts in Sweden in October. What can the audience expect? Well, you know, what, it, what happens to me whenever I play here is not so much what they can expect. I'm just going to play the music. What I love is they sing all the songs. It's the greatest phenomenon of my career, which is how in the world did they remember every last one of these songs? Yeah. And so when we bring in, we're going to bring in a little show. We're going to bring in the full, I'm bringing the full package, you know. But um, to me, I always look for, I'll surprise them with every song. We're going to try to play about every song they know and remember. That's the good news. Because okay. some artists don't like to play all of their songs. No. I'm the opposite. I like no. to play as many as I can. So we'll see. And some people ask where you've been the last couple of years. Well, you know, there's, there's a big world. And you can go either this way or you can go that way. I've been going that way for a long time now. So I think we're coming back this way. When you start thinking about Stockholm and this area, you know, we miss it so much because we take the easy route. And so I said to them one day, back to Stockholm, we have to go back. This is where the birthplace, where the Commodores actually broke first in this area. And I've been doing more writing than ever. So I've got two more albums coming out after this. So I took some time off to write and be pop pop, grandpa. Yeah. And you're doing a duet with Jill, Jill Johnson on yes. your new record. Is she any good? She's, <laughs> she's actually wonderful. And I, what I love about him is the, her is the way out our voices, actually, the timbre of her voice and the timbre of my voice, we complement each other. That's all I look forward to, is to make sure we don't sound, you know, I want her to give, her, give me her personality. Yeah. And she gave it to me. Yeah. But when I asked around, I said, who's the best in the area? And they said, you want this woman right here. So I'll tell you, she's yeah. good. I knew you worked a lot with Michael Jackson, and you told me a story about a snake. Can oh, you... you want to hear that story again, huh? Well, when we were writing We Are the World, we wrote the music, and now we have to write the lyrics. So we went up to Michael's loft, or his bedroom, and if you know anything about his bedroom, I'll tell you, he has albums, old albums, stacked against the wall all the way around in his bedroom. Well, I'm lying on the floor with the tape recorder playing the song back, da 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 da, da 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 da, click. What's that, Mike? Okay, there come, there comes a time we're writing the lyrics, and out of the corner of my eye, I see the albums fall down. And as I turn, there's a python, Michael's pet python. I don't know anybody who has a pet python. <laughs> All I remember was I was screaming like the last girl in California, okay? He scared me out of my wits. And Michael was going, oh my God, Lionel, there he is. You know, we knew he was in the room hiding, but we didn't know where he was. He wants to meet you. He wants to say hello to you. And I'm going, if you don't get this snake away from me. But that's, that's my, mem remem uh, my memory of We Are The World. Everyone else thinks it was this other session no the snake in the room was the story yeah. okay finally do you ever get tired of singing your hits like hello you know what uh, i have friends of mine um, who, who have jobs and they say to me aren't you tired of doing this and my answer is i've never had a job in my life so this is the hobby that i started out with with the commodores and if I could do this until the day I die, I'll be the happiest guy in the world. Thank you very much, Mr. Richard. I'll see you there at the show. Yes. Very good. Pleasure. Very good.